During National Science Week this year, 2023, I was presented with the Peter Doherty Award for Excellence in STEM, Outstanding Senior STEM Student. I travelled to the Brisbane Convention Centre to be presented with my award and to mingle and network with other winners and academics. Throughout this video, I will be showing clips of my time at Brabby Island, the awards ceremony and South Bank. The Peter Doherty Awards for Excellence in STEM recognise students, teachers, support officers, schools and education partners who demonstrate an outstanding and innovative contribution to STEM education in Queensland. It awards each winner with 5000 Australian dollars. 2023 marks the 20th year of the awards named after Professor Peter Doherty, a Brisbane-born Nobel Prize winning scientist who was educated at the University of Queensland. Peter Doherty, whom the award is named for, shared the 1996 Nobel Medicine Prize with a Swiss colleague for their discoveries about transplantation and killer T-cell mediated immunity, an understanding that is currently translated into new cancer treatments. Due to this, he also won Australian of the Year in 1997. Peter Doherty is an exceptionally inspirational role model for Australians pursuing medicine, medical research and other biological and chemical research. How do you apply? To apply for the Peter Doherty Awards for Excellence in STEM, there are multiple categories with different requ requirements and application processes, which I will write in the comments. As someone applying for the Senior STEM Student Award, I had to write 500 words about what I had already done in STEM and my STEM experiences, and 500 words about my future plans in STEM. You must be in Year 12 and from Queensland. You will be given some dot points to respond to and I had to upload proof of things I had achieved, such as scans of academic awards and STEM programs. You will need your principal to write a letter stating that you are enrolled at your current Queensland school for Year 12 and they will need to fill out, your ap need to fill out a form with all of your marks from Year 11 for your STEM subjects. Once you have submitted your application, you will find out in a couple of months whether you have received an award and, another couple of, and it will be another couple of months until the ceremony in National Science Week in August. Applications for 2024 open in Term 1 2024. As I am from a regional part of Queensland, the Department of Education funded a stay in a hotel at Southbank on the night of, my, on the, night of the award. The award was held on the top floor in the Plaza Auditorium and Plaza Foyer at the Brisbane Convention Centre. I had to register and was given a program, a badge, a name tag and my prize money. In the main ceremony, I was presented with my award and was able to listen to speakers such as Laureate Professor Peter Doherty, the Director General of Department of Education, Dr. DeArth, Associate Professor Fiona Simpson and Tegan Taylor from ABC. Peter Doherty himself was quite funny and an excellent speaker. Tegan Taylor was an exceptional MC and shared her experiences in a hilariously entertaining way. After the ceremony, we were invited to mingle in the foyer with drinks and canapes. Winning the Peter Doherty Award was amazing and it was incredibly humbling to hear the achievements of other award winners. Overall, I am incredibly honoured to have been chosen to receive a Peter Doherty Award for Excellence in STEM, which is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's literally once-in-a-lifetime. Students are only eligible in Year 12. Receiving the award has inspired me to continue building my business in tutoring and supporting young students and women in STEM. I hope to be able to eventually visit schools to promote STEM and women in STEM and hope to be able to work with organisations who promote STEM. If you have any questions about the award or the application process, please shoot me an email. Um, I think my email is connected to my YouTube. If not, just pop a comment and I'll put it in the comments. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Participation in the 2022 Spark Ed program cemented her decision to pursue a career in medicine. She's determined to contribute to the medical system in remote and regional areas sorely needed. Imogen has established collaborative partnerships with external organisations to mentor younger students who share similar interests in medicine. Congratulations, Imogen.